Hi, it's Darnell with Wayland Recipes. Today, I'm going to be cooking up frozen cod filet in the Hamilton Beach Shore Crisp Air Fryer Oven. And we'll see how it does cooking up that cod right now. So I'm going to go through the ingredients for this cod filet cook here. I've got this one vacuum sealed frozen codfish filet. I guess it's about four ounces or so. I've got some extra light olive oil that I'll be using. And I'm going to be going with my Old Bay seasoning for this one. Nothing this video is sponsored. So I'm going to start by getting this out of this pack. So I've gotten the fish unpacked and basically getting this prepared is pretty simple. The extra light olive oil has a very high smoke point and doesn't taint the flavor because it's an extra light oil. It doesn't taste like olive oil that is not extra light. The regular olive oil would kind of taint the flavor a bit. So it helps the seasoning to stick on and I put a bit too much Old Bay on there. A bit more than I wanted to but that's okay. That's cool. And going to go ahead and do this other side now. Just get it oiled up and then seasoned up and then we'll be good to go for this cook. So this is pretty quick and easy. I guess I maybe I should have tried picking up some of the excess seasoning that I spilled on the plate, seeing if I could get that on this side of the fish. I don't know. Let's see. Just sprinkle a little of that excess there on there. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the rack on the low rack level. I've got the air fry basket in the bake pan to catch the drippings. And so I'm going to slide that on into the cooker and close up. And so now I'm going to turn the cooker to air fry. And I'm going to do air fry. I'm going to do about 375, so between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For cooking time, I'm going to do about 20 minutes. See how things do in about 20 minutes. So, yeah, that's, that's about 20. Maybe, is that, yeah, that's 20. So, we'll go ahead and let that run. Lord willing, that'll be enough. If not, then we may have to add more later. But, I'm going to kind of keep an eye on things. See what it, it looks like it's kind of done. And may have to check the temperature. Maybe once, maybe more than once. But we'll see. I'll bring you back. So things have been cooking for about four minutes and I just noticed that the pan is not level and I don't know why. There's no pause in this cooker but I'm just trying to make sure that the pan is uh, I guess my pan got warped <laughs> obviously. Yeah obviously my pan got warped. I don't think there's a pause though. When I opened up yeah, the fan kept going. Yeah, I knew there was no pause. I just wanted to check. I thought maybe the fan stopped when I opened that time. I was like, did it stop? But no, it, there's no pause on the cooker. So I'm going to let it keep going. I guess I've warped my pan from use. <laughs> but it looks kind of funny there. I'm going to go ahead and let it finish cooking. I'll bring you back. Alright, let it go to full 20 minutes on the warped baking pan with the air fry basket in there and went on out just going to check temp and we're at 89 degrees well, hold on yeah it's yeah it's like 80 some degrees and it's kind of cool so cooker has no preheat keep that in mind so we're going from no preheat just straight cooking I'm going to add five minutes and I'm basically going to do this in like five minute increments till I get to 145. I like to cook it all the way. So I'll bring you on back. All right, 25 minutes total so far. Going to check it now. Guess I probably could have run it at 400. But now we're at 130s. Ooh, we're moving up. Ooh, we're moving on up. Yeah, 143. I don't know. I guess like this. I mean, I'm usually not one. I'm usually not one to rely on the carryover, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it in there closed for about four minutes closed. 
well maybe not four I'll just leave it in there for a couple of minutes closed because I think it's going to hit that 145 at that rate and be good to go so I think it'll be fine I mean I like I said I usually don't do the carryover most people know I don't but in this one carry over with the with the meat still in the cooker we'll do that carry over with it still in the cooker <laughs> which is not really carry over technically that's really just letting it cook still in the oven <laughs> so that's what I'm doing just gonna leave it in there for a couple minutes and then pull it on out and I think we'll be just fine because it was at 144 basically rising up you know still carrying over so it'll be good to go alright so gave it a couple minutes to set and just make sure that it was fully fully cooked so I'm ready to trust it now so you can tell me how you think that looks so now I'm going to go ahead and get it off of there and get it onto my plate so there we have our cod filet I guess I need to get a fork and knife to cut it open so let me get that knife there all right so try and make sure you have a view just going to cut it right here you can see inside fully cooked I'm just going to make this a little smaller piece for the taste test so I don't have to eat too big of a bite but we'll go ahead and do a taste test so thank God for some good looking codfish I did give it a few minutes to rest to reabsorb the juices a little bit probably should have done that before I even started cutting and such but anyway let's taste turned out pretty good so the cooker is able to cook things from frozen without a preheat takes a little more time but did a decent job I could have always cranked the heat up a little bit more but it's all up to you how you want to do it and so in the video description there are lots of ways to help the channel such as my cookbook merch membership donations all that good stuff there'll be a link to my Amazon shop you can buy cookers like this one pay the same price help the channel even if you use that Amazon link that I have is your jump off point for other shopping it still helps the channel so all good either way and so with all of that said if you did like the video please do give it a thumbs up share the video with a friend leave your comments subscribe to the channel hit that notification icon and good eating